So we're going to look at cut speeds here. So uh, when we're talking about cutter speeds, we're talking about uh, RPM of our spindle. So uh, I'm going to do three cuts with a quarter inch uh, two flute carbide upcut, the one we ship you with. Uh, so I'm going to do one at a speed of one, one at a speed of three, and then one at a speed of five. Uh, and I'm going to try and move at a similar velocity, like physically move the unit through the material at a similar velocity. And we're going to see, we're going to listen to the sound of the cutter, and we're also going to uh, see the quality of the cuts that come off it. Okay, so this was one. Spindle seed of speed of one. So you would have heard it sounded nasty. We can see the size of the chips are really big. Uh, I don't know if you can see these here. So there's big chunks getting taken off. That means our, our cutter's spinning slowly relative to uh, how fast we're moving through the material. And the cut quality is terrible. It was very grabby, uh, very unpredictable. So uh, that's a good reminder. We were cutting a quarter inch deep and very, very slowly with our spindle speed. So. Uh, Next up, we'll do a cut a speed of three and see how that behaves. So that one we see the, uh, the, the chips are getting finer. Uh, it started to sound more stable. The machine wasn't jerking around uh, and our cut quality has improved. But uh, in terms of being productive, we can run the cutter faster uh, and, and move faster through the material and still get a, uh, a good cut quality. So we'll go on to uh, five now. Uh, so the cut quality there is even better. Uh, our chips uh, fine, look appropriate. We've got a very clean edge, very straight line. The unit wasn't jerky and uh, there was no weird uh, resonant frequency kind of uh, nasty sounds. Uh, the plunging was easy. It, it went down through the material uh, effortlessly. It didn't push up against me. Uh, I noticed that in uh, at operating it at one. Uh, it would actually push out of the material. Uh, so then the only other thing to do is to uh, turn this up to six and we're going to look at what going, moving too slowly through the material uh, and having the cutter running too fast. We're going to see how that behaves. Basically, uh, we're going to start burning the edge of our material. So uh, this is looking at the other end of the spectrum, uh, spinning too fast and moving too slow. If we ever linger, uh, it'll start to burn. So we'll look at that now. So here's a quick example of, of how I would go about experimenting with cut speeds to establish what's the best for your material and the speed that you're comfortable moving origin through that material. Uh, so we started on one. Uh, it was, uh, it pushed against me when I went to plunge. So it wasn't stable. Uh, it wasn't removing enough material to get pushed down into the, uh, to that channel quick enough. And then as I moved, it was very grabby. The big uh, chunks that came off uh, were too big. The edge quality is terrible and the cut experience was terrible. There was a lot of resistance against my motion. Uh, we then moved to three, which was starting to get a uh, reasonable cut quality. Uh, it drifted a little bit, like it wasn't, uh, it wasn't perfect, uh, but it wasn't horrendous. Uh, but I couldn't move at a sort of productive rate through the material and still maintain a good qu cut quality. Five, uh, that was setting the spindle speed to five, was actually very uh, workable. Uh, so if you're still getting a feel for things uh, in good quality ply, I would recommend setting it to five. Obviously different materials, uh, you'll have to run through the same process to figure out exactly what works best uh, for you. But uh, five's a, a great uh, setting to start with. Uh, and then adapt from there. And then six, we were looking at, this is uh, sustainable if, you're really, if you really concentrate on keeping moving. Uh, you'll notice here, I actually came to a stop and uh, triggered a little burn. So that was intentional to, to just see what happens, A, to the material, B, keep in mind that's uh, degrading your cutter edge. So 
uh, if you linger and you're seeing these burn marks or smelling burning, uh, that's, that's telling you that your cutter is uh, degrading very rapidly. So uh, either set the spindle, spindle speed slower or, uh, or just keep moving. Concentrate on keeping moving or retracting out of the material if you have to uh, sit there and consider some things and revisit like, your position or settings on the tool. So there we have it, spindle speeds.